everybody, Michelle here from Gabriel Fitness with your Friday recovery tip of the week. I'm here with Roberto Andrade. He is an acupuncturist and a natural health practitioner. And we are here today to talk to you a little bit more about breathing. We talk a lot about breathing in our gym and I try to get everyone to practice breathing correctly. But we're trying to get breathing from another perspective today. So Roberto is going to tell us a little bit about why breathing is important. And why should we care? Why should we care that our breathing is correct? Yeah, well, breathing is essential for almost everything a human body does. Um, regulating the breath properly, it's at the forefront of everything you do from a physical aspect of things. Uh, there's a lot of benefits beyond just sucking in oxygen. Uh, things like uh, if you have problems with sleep, you have problems with stress, uh, if you have issues with physical pain, digestion, uh, maybe even mental focus. Uh, learning how to regulate your breath properly can help a lot positively in uh, all of these aspects. If you're trying to uh, better your athletic performance, uh, learning how to breathe properly is absolutely essential because if you're not doing it right, your progress is just going to be a lot slower than it could be. And uh, it's very often you see uh, people just plateauing because of it. Okay. Yeah. And why do you think that most people don't breathe correctly? Why do we lose that? Yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, just ingrained habits. Um, usually when you're born breathing, you're born breathing uh, something called belly breathing, which is from the abdomen. And as we see different societal changes, um, everybody starts to breathe higher and higher up into the chest, which uh, in most cases is just not the most efficient way for you to take in oxygen. And how can we practice breathing correctly? Yeah, so a lot of breathing practices tend to be about uh, separating different aspects of the lungs and this is usually done by trying to breathe into different parts of the torso. So um, the easiest way really is to begin with the separation above and below the diaphragm and uh, I know you've done a wonderful video on this already on the belly breathing 101, check it out. Um, so you place one hand on the chest and one hand on the upper abdomen. And then when you're breathing, you're trying to breathe into that lower hand without moving the hand on the chest. Because when most people think of chest breathing, it's that rise and fall of the chest. And with belly breathing, this shouldn't move at all. So in order to get that separation, really try and breathe into that lower hand. And if you can do that, then you're belly breathing already. Great, good on you. Keep practicing until you're more comfortable with it and you don't need your hands here for confirmation that it's actually happening. Um, and then for the lower part, just rinse and repeat. Put the hands in the middle and the lower, above and below the belly button. Do the same exact thing. Oh, okay. Who do you think mostly needs to practice this kind of breathing? Yeah, I think uh, everybody can benefit from it. I think that most people that walk into my office really are not breathing the way they should. Most people walking down the street are really holding a lot of tension, a lot of what we call autonomic tension or tension beyond your conscious control. Um, and that's being stored in a lot of the muscles that are tied in with the breathing, the diaphragm in particular, a lot of the neck muscles, shoulders, things like that. Um, so, you know, if you're dealing with stress, like I said, or you're dealing with any kind of pain, um, it's huge. If you're trying to just overall make your body more efficient, make your life smoother, um, you know, working on the breath is essential. Great. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Guys, remember, you want to make sure you're aware of your breathing, you want to practice your breathing, and you want to make it part of your life every day. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, Michelle, at GabrielFitness.com or Roberto at NaturalIntegratedMedicine.com. Great. And have a great week. We'll see you in the gym.